Okay, so here we're gonna have a look at how we put video inside our text in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's dive straight in and have a look at how we set these layers up and use the different blend techniques in Final Cut Pro 10 to produce this cool effect. Okay, so this is the final result that we're looking for, our video playing back inside our type, layered on top of another video. There's a few different steps in this tutorial that will run you through this, and they're also steps that are useful in other compositing techniques that you use, but this will show some of the fundamental compositing techniques that we can use in Final Cut Pro 10 for layering video in some different ways. We're gonna begin here now with two video layers. So we have one uh, video layer here um, of this artichoke, which is the, the layer that we're gonna put inside our text. Um, and then if we just tap the V key with this selected, you can see the layer behind that we have is this kind of wide shot um, of the market, okay? So the first thing we need to do here is actually place our text onto our timeline or our project. So let's come across the titles uh, panel across here on the right hand side. If you don't see this, then just tap the, the T key to bring your titles up, and then we're gonna bring up the basic title. So I've done this by going to all titles and just typing in BAS, and it basically will bring up uh, basic titles as one of the first titles there. So we'll drag this on, and then I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit, command and minus, and just size that so that it fits uh, that whole clip that I'm gonna, gonna be masking out. So with the text selected here, I'm now going to increase the size of this basic text and just edit it. So I'll come across to my inspector on the top right here. And if you don't see this, just go to window and show inspector and that will reveal your inspector, which shows the information about the video or the type or the image that you have selected on your timeline or in your library. So we're going to go ahead now to the text and edit it here. So we will type in market. And then once we've typed that in, we're gonna increase the size of this type. Okay, so we're gonna push it up um, as big as we can. And once we've come up to the top font size that we have here, we can keep pushing up by dragging in this number box here. So if I keep pushing up, I can drag this number up, okay, until we have a nice big typeface, okay? So the next step in this is to add a mask effect blend mode um, to this layer. Okay, so blend modes allow you to blend color, to blend different elements of the layer to the layer or layers below. Okay, so we are gonna jump in to the video options here, which is where we access those blend modes and scroll right down. So we have the basic opacity, which will make our type slightly more transparent. Okay, and then we have things like subtract, darken, multiply, or lighten, which will darken or lighten um, our video. Okay, and then if we keep going down, we have these options for stenciling the alpha um, or stenciling the luma um, for this particular piece of type, okay? So if we select stencil alpha, it's gonna place both those video layers um, into uh, our type now, okay? So we see one video layer um, in the type because that's the, the one on top. So we will actually be able to see that video layer behind um, these top two layers, okay? So we can see the type, we can see this second layer but we wanna reveal the layer behind. And the way that we're gonna do that is by joining these two clips together in a compound clip, okay? So if we go to File, New, and Compound Clip, we'll call this Market Video Text, okay? And basically now, what will happen is, once we come back down to the timeline, you'll see that our market type is placed over the top of our background. So we'll just jump onto this background layer and I'm gonna add an effect, a color tint um, onto that just to make it a little easier to see. So if we come down and we'll go to our color corrections and we will colorize this background layer, okay? So once we've colorized this, we'll be able to remap our black and white to different colors to give a kind of different effect um, to that layer below, okay? So now if we come back down now, we've got these two video layers playing at the same time with the type, um, masking out that original video layer. So that's basically the technique for putting video inside type. We can do a couple of other things to make the type a bit clearer, to increase the contrast between the foreground and background layers. And one thing I might do is instead of using uh, colorize for some layers, working with black and white um, in the background may kind of give you a, a nicer effect. And actually one effect uh, we can do is to put the, the same video uh, within the type. Okay, so I'll show you how that works. So if we zoom out a little bit, 
Okay, so we're going to make a copy of this video, this first video, using the Alt key. So we'll hold down Alt and drag out a copy of it, and then we'll make a second copy by dragging it up. Now, this second copy that's on the topmost layer, we're going to turn off the, the desaturation. We're going to turn that back to color. So we've got a full uh, color video here now, and I'm going to put some new text on top here. Okay, so I'll jump back down to the basic title here and drop a new one on top of this second video. Now remember that the background layer here is desaturated. So if we turn off this topmost layer, um, that background layer is desaturated. So now if I increase the type size, I'm gonna highlight my basic title there, go to text, and we'll type in Granville, which is the location in which this video was shot. And we'll just push the, the type size right up until it's filling much of the screen. Okay, and that's really just to make it clear for everyone to see what's happening here. So now we will jump back to our video on the top right here. Scroll down and change the blend mode to stencil alpha. So now we have that video within the, within the type, okay? And if we now go ahead and select these top two layers, okay? Go to File, New, and Compound Clip. We'll call this Granville Type. Layer. Okay, so that's compounding those top two layers. Okay, so now we can see that the, the color is inside that, that type layer. And actually, we need to accentuate this a bit more. So I'm gonna jump into my compound clip where I can edit this separately. And I'm gonna change the, the color effect that's on this layer too. Okay, so I've added a, a grayscale to my previous layer. And then for this, I'm gonna add uh, colorize. Okay, and I'm gonna colorize these as red and blue for the white, and then as red and blue for the black too, okay? So if we go back now to our main timeline, so now we'll see we get this kind of nice color tint for that type that's playing over the top of our video. Now there are other ways of achieving this effect, um, but this is quite a nice uh, way that you can control um, the different layers and the effect that you're adding, okay? So we've desaturated the background and then put our video into the type layer here. And then in this first version, we've placed a different video on top of our original video um, into that type layer, okay? One thing we could do just to kind of make these areas of type more visible is to select the background layer and then jump up to the opacity and just drop that down so that we get still a hint of that background video, but mostly the foreground video is the one here that's really showing up, okay? So if I drop that back down, you'll see that we'll be able to kind of really pump the contrast of those two videos playing one over the other. Okay, thanks for watching this video tutorial on putting video into type in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, I really enjoy getting your suggestions for these different videos and tutorials that I'm, I'm making. Um, so if you have any new suggestions, then please don't hesitate to drop me an email or drop me a message online. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys all on the next tutorial.